doesn't have a tag, so I gotta ask in front. So right here is sitting a Kohan leather case, genuine, but it's missing the strap. But you could buy the straps for like 12 bucks, genuine leather to replace it. I scooped this up for nine dollars. This was three bucks, I would have got it. He sold for like 18. Brand new. These can't be real. Toki Doki. Make sure to always look at labels. These are knockoff Toki Doki lunch bags. They're pretty cool though. I kind of want to take one, see if my wife wants one. Three bucks. Print's still good. I probably know more about this brand than any other brand. Welcome back, ladies and gents, to uh, the tip and sunny show, I guess. I've got some comments on Instagrams that people were like, show more of tips. So I will do that. Let's do it right now. No, we're not going inside yet. I think he wants to go inside because uh, the semen's cold here. But I ended up scooping this up today. Growing up, my dad had something like this. Not as nice, but me and my brothers used to get it all the time. And friends who watch this and see this, they're going to be like, dude, they remember we used to compete and get our friends to do it. I used to be in really good shape. And I've been wanting one for years, but I have not wanted to pay the full price. This was... 25 bucks. Not bad. Um, I see newer ones of these. They're like 300 bucks. Tip, is somebody here? Let's go look who's here. I love my animal. What? You want that? So cute. <laughs> it's brand new. No, Oh, this one. Oh, this one. That's for me. That's for me. How much you buy? 25. This one? 25. That's it. How come you don't growl at me? He growls at me when I carry him. I know, why? <laughs> why you growl at me? Hmm. Here's that bag I showed you in the last video. I do my best to list it the same day, but sometimes things happen, especially being in a relationship and having this little guy. And it sold. What I did in the description, I'll put right here how I wrote it out. But I did mention in the description saying that I'm going to fold it in half and that it should fit inside a medium flat rate box. Two different types. There's one already out here that we use just to just to hold some stuff in. Okay, th thanks Tip. Thanks for your toy, buddy. Who wants to play fetch? That's why I always mention there's two different types. But if you're new to postage, postage, there's more of the cubicle one, the square one. And then there's the longer one. I just ordered me quite a bit more this is not free this is the ones that i ordered more for like hats smaller sizes and first class items about 30 of the long ones and then about the same for the square ones and then i also have some large boxes coming and then about 30 more of the padded flat rate envelope what i'm going to do is actually print the label out on this right now and the reason why i do my best to list everything before midnight I could go on usps.com and set up my pickup to have things picked up here at the house rather than going to the post office and having to drop stuff off. Now the thing with that, say I have one order and, and after midnight something else comes in, I just give it to them. They're usually okay with it. It's not like I have a crazy amount of orders coming in. People who may not have a computer with internet access or a printer, but say you do have a cell phone that could take decent photos and you can list the items off of there. But you're not doing it because you don't have a printer to ship shipping labels. So what you wanna do is see if your local post office has a kiosk to print the labels off of it. So you could send first class, you could send international packages, you could send priority mail packages. At first, it's gonna be foreign to you. You're not gonna know how to do things, but trust me, after two or three times, you'll be like, I got it. If there's nobody behind you in line, just go through it. Go look at what else you could do on there. Oh, it's about, to, it's about to hit me in the head. A 
was accidentally recording in slow mo. Oh man, so I gotta start over. So <laughs> here we go. So I ended up buying eight total Sanuk slippers, chanclas, flip flops, however you wanna call it. Um, I ended up buying eight of them. They are big sizes. Four of these are in size 13, and then the other four are size 14. But I ended up buying them each for four dollars and I thought that was a great deal. Next item I bought, I showed you this before, and I told you why. These are Ali by Alessandra hats. Look it up online, Ali by Alessandra, a pop-up, and you see what their hats go for. This was last season, but they are sold out, and I'm the only one that has them listed anywhere online, so that is in my favor, and I have them at full price for 145. I have four of these listed on Poshmark, and within, Less than a minute of posting it up on there, it started getting some hearts on it, which people are saying they love it. And then other people were sharing it, which is what I like about Poshmark. But none is sold yet, but I figured, you know what, it's still a great deal. I bought those for $6 each. So I like those numbers. Look. Next thing I got was this hat right here. I got this at Goodwill yesterday. Name is right here that piqued my interest. Sir Nick Faldo. He's a golfer. He has quite a bit of stuff that people buy on eBay. This is brand new. So that also is a plus. And it's from, yes, a specific place, Montana Wilderness Club. But it's also an invitational. So I think there's a lot of good going on this. And for three bucks, I figured, why not? $1.99. But that was half off when I got it. I got this like a week ago. I just forgot that I had it. But it for 99 cents, not two dollars. Pretty good condition. I wouldn't say it's new, but I would say in good condition. But, but not bad out of a dollar. Let's send more hats. This hat right here. We'll get to that one in a minute. So this hat I got because it's more of a sporty types hat. I've heard of the Brisbane Lions. I don't know like the actual team or if they do good or if this is actual for soccer or for rugby. I've heard of that name before. This is brand new, everything's great about it, and hopefully it sells for around 20 bucks. So I may end up making like 15, uh, 16, or 18 dollars in profit. Only bought this hat for two dollars. Bought this several weeks ago. I finally now listed it, but not on eBay. I ended up putting it on my own website, which if you're interested in my stuff, show some love in my new website down below, sunnyhustles.bigcartel.com. And some people have this listed on eBay for $200. They have a little bag on that saying it's new, but it looks beat up. But as you can see, even with this, this is in pristine mint condition. This is nice. Quite a bit of them on there on eBay. So I figured, you know what? Why go with the competition and just put them all on site? Now this one, this one right here, I found another bag. And this one is by Kohan. This one, I think I paid $9 for. The tag is inside. Goodwill's getting smarter about where they put their tags because people rip them off. Look inside and I paid 10 bucks for it. So very good condition. Looks nearly brand new, but the only thing about this one, it doesn't have the strap to go around. I was hoping it was on the inside. I didn't find it. And the good thing about this is that it is Kohan. It is in an excellent condition. And even though it was missing the strap, I could order one online. I'm gonna order one first, see if the colors near identical and then just sell it as is but you want to mention that that it's a replacement strap you want to be as honest as possible but you know what i'm going to end up listing it just like this and say the strap's missing it should still get a pretty good penny because they can't carry it this way with the handles but make sure to take off your price tags people that's a no-no leaving that on there make sure the zippers work too everything works on this but this today bought it for six dollars and you might be like okay what is it now you may be able to tell it's a holster and I looked it up online and these sell for around 45 bucks. I'm gonna open it up in a second cause this is just one of those type of plastics that isn't glue, it's just kind of clipped together. Maybe right under a pound. So maybe $5.50 a ship. The other thing that I bought is this Disney home musical uh, Winnie the Pooh and Friends. This is brand new in a box. Only bought it for three bucks. And some of them, if it's vintage, I don't think it is, but they could sell anywhere from $25 up to $150. For three bucks, I was like, that's a goal for me. Now this one, you're like, wait, I thought you only showed us one. I only had this one. This is the original one that I bought. And what I found out about it is that it's a all-in-one USB charge hovercraft. 
and the more I was looking into it I also found out that this is actually from Toys R Us I don't know about this one yet this one it doesn't have the battery it doesn't have the lid but it has everything else oh and it doesn't have the remote the paperwork that was with it had this Missing parts repair, request and stop, do not return to store, blah, 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 Pretty much to find more of the items that may be missing like this, just go to theparkandshop.com. All of y'all who have joined me and those who have started from day one joining me, which wasn't long ago, but the page is growing and I'm so thankful for all your support. You all are the best. If you ever have any questions or any way I could help you, I'll do my best. I don't have the answers for everything. A lot of stuff I'm figuring out on my own, but I have grown to be very successful in my own way of averaging a growth of $150 to $250 per month. I think that's very, very good because I haven't had a time where I've been falling back, taking stuff back. I've just been moving forward slowly but surely and any progress and effort is better than none. So even when things are moving, but you're growing and you're learning stuff, keep going people, don't stop. Sometimes it's easier for others, sometimes it's harder for others, but you're gonna learn a lot more through failures and in time you'll have a lot less in them and have more success shadowing it in a positive way. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Don't forget to check out my other videos in the past and see what else I've listed. Quite a bit of stuff. So, until next time, I'm Sunny Hustles, and I'm out of here.